One step at a time. Out of the darkness, into the light forever. Until you get eliminated from oh. the semi-finals, which is a problem that Iceland has faced since 2015. Maria Olafs, did she make it? No. What about Greta Salome? No. What about Svala? No. And in certain instances, we think they should have made it. Absolutely. In any case, why don't we go back and forth and name our favorite non-qualifier from Iceland in the past three editions. Are you ready? <laughs> It's back to back tragedy with Iceland. Uh, back to back to back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also a shame because I think before the contest, in each instance, there was a degree of hype, varying degree, but each of these songs had their followers. Let's start with 2015 Maria Olaf's Disney Princess, serving that fairy princess girl next door with some pipes realness. Oh, and backed with more pipes from um, here at Bjork. And wasn't Selma her choreographer? Yes! I mean, this was really a star act. Like, even though she was an amateur and she came onto the scene, she was working with Eurovision royalty. Yeah, and the bookies had her down as a solid qualifier. Wee Wee Jury had her at eighth place. Yeah, because the studio cut was on point. In Iceland, she sounded great on that stage. Absolutely, and it was sort of around the time of Frozen, so there was, you know, that sort of music also took flight in the charts, and you kind of felt that yeah. this was really want a dark horse to look out for. Animated Elsa realness. Now look, during her first rehearsal, she was walking, the LED floor would track her motions. It was all promising, but the night of the live show, things kind of fell apart. Yeah, I think she was, there was a hype leading up to it, and I think one that she perhaps failed to match, but nonetheless, I think she should have still made the cut. I'm not sure about that. I enjoy, I don't think it's as bad as people say it was. I love when the floor went gold. That was a magical moment. Magical moment, but it was, I could see why this didn't go through. It ended up 15th in the second oh, semi-final. 14, that's one four points. That's the lowest of the three we're gonna say in terms of points. Undeserved. So we move on to Greta Salome 2016. Do you have a box of tissues? Because I, I need to start off with that. Just, t I still can't get over it. I hear them calling me. I hear whispers of failure, and it's so painful. It is painful. The studio cut was fantastic. It was indigenous Icelandic folk kind of updated for today. The stage show in Iceland was on point. Amazing. On point. They deleted the audience. You were in this fantasy world. But then we were disappointed in Eurovision itself because the audience, it just lost its magic in translation. You know what I mean? Like. There, were, there was talk that SVT didn't use the right graphics and they sorted that out, but then it still wasn't on point. Yeah, but nonetheless, 14. It, you know, you still have to pick 10. Yeah. And I just don't know anybody who would leave that out. No, I agree completely. I mean, I, you know, we can say, you know, when you deconstruct to that level, you're kind of, kind of, it, it's almost like micro-filtering why it didn't win. Yeah, not that's why, true. Not why it didn't qualify. It should have qualified. Oh, it should have gone through. When that didn't happen, it was like I would like a local erupting. There was a seismic, <gasps> we could not believe it. Oh, but she's a professional. I've got to say, Greta Salome is always on point. Despite all the tears and all the heartbreak, she kept her appointment to show up at the Wee Wee Jam. Brought the next li day. Violins, life set, everything. And some major attitude which we love. Oh my god, and blew the roof off. Again, the Wee Wee Jury put this to in the top it, it, ten. Yeah, it did well, it did well. I do think something was lost in translation, but that does not justify not making the final. And by translation, I mean <laughs> from Iceland. Two, were we in Stockholm yeah. that year? Yeah, because you kind of feel like sometimes, you know, the biggest stage gives it added flavor and added texture, yeah. but perhaps in her case, it kind of, it was a bit, yeah. I almost feel like SVT wanted to show off the stage they had built, when in reality they should have just highlighted what she already had in Iceland, which was an amazing show. And which was, actually, it's interesting you use that point, because that was a point you made for their entry, uh, France, if I was so, so mm. really, you know, they've got, you've got all this gimmickry, yeah. but actually, they're not even using that. No, yeah, they went simple. For their own act, they went simple, and that's how this should have gone. In any case, the final non-qualifier from Iceland, just a few months ago... I fish for you! You fish, but people don't want to eat. It's Svala paper. Now, Devin, I said this in the movie Jury, this song was flat and one-dimensional. I never really got the hype. I liked her, because she has this kind of edge, like, there's... 
Well, it's not because she's from LAX. You know what I mean, though? There is like this Hollywood meets Reykjavik vibe. Some people in the comment section, someone said it was cringe. I really liked her attitude and pizzazz. I just didn't like the song. I know you were a huge fan of the song. Oh, yes. And I love her attitude. I mean, she dresses so well. So Father, crazy. my God. She is like, she was like the Gaga of Eurovision. Harajuku Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's amazing. Paper, for me, there are times when it feels too emotional. There's a lot of meaning in it. And I think it was difficult to translate, particularly with her choreography. I think people just didn't get it. Yeah, I mean, she was lost on that big stage. It felt empty. And for some reason, the outfit made her cleavage look synthetic. It's all natural and all good, but something about that was very distracting. It, do you know what I mean? And the hair, the hair pulled really back and everything. What I think, uh, Paper's failure is that it didn't go far enough. It, it's a song that, yeah. in its in its lyrical form, actually touches you very deeply. Mm. But the staging was kind of raining everything back. It, it, yeah. For me, it was the tempo. Songs in that tempo don't work for me because it's like you're gonna be slow, you're gonna be upbeat. Like I just feel languid. It's not her fault. That's just a personal. Thing. Again, this should have made the cut. No, this should not have made the cut. This is the one that I think is mo most deserved of not making the cut. William did 10 spots. Yeah, who would you have pulled out? Who was in it? Look, I don't have time <laughs> to go through that. Let's go through, what was your favorite of these? Greta Salome, I hear you calling, takes the lead. And not mm. only for me, if anybody has a different point of view, I'm gonna battle it out. This is one that I'll argue to death. She is, is the one that should have Mm. Yeah, no, th this is like, she doesn't even deserve the second chance because I think that, you know, she's so good. She, yeah. yeah, I think she, of all those tracks, has had the greatest potential. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. However, and this might sound strange, it's like sometimes I cheekily find myself listening to the Maria Olaf studio cut. Really? I know, I was surprised too. I don't skip it. But it's when it comes good. To like, I mean, it's it a good, good song. It's a good... I need to ask you, William. Mm. Never forget... Hear you calling, or hear them calling. Oh, never forget I didn't like. I think that- so When I, you, exactly, so when you when you compare it that way, you yeah. kind of think- hey, And never hey. forget my final. Yeah. It's very strange. In any case, that is what we think. What do you think? What is your favorite of the recent non-qualifiers from Iceland? You can let us know here on weeblogs.com. I'm gonna make a bold prediction that Iceland will qualify next year. You know what's interesting? <laughs> is the last time they had a streak of three non-qualifications, they qualified the next year in 2008. Great. And then 2009, they came second. Yeah, exactly. Is that true? So maybe they've now had three non-qualifications, so next year they should make the final. And then they'll do okay. And they'll have to. Fun. And they've confirmed that they're going to be in Lisbon, and so are we. OMG, let's get packing. See you later. Bye!